Today I want to talk about the type of people that make good entrepreneurs. Um, now first of all, you don't have to have a person, certain personality type to be an entrepreneur, but there is one trait that I see um, across the many entrepreneurs that I know, and it's their ability to wear many hats or be jack of all trades. And I know um, calling somebody a jack of all trades sometimes can be can seem like a, a put down because you hear the old adage, jack of all trades, master of none. But the thing is with an entrepreneur, if, or, or even a self-employed person, is that you kind of have to have many hats because when you're starting out, you're doing all these different jobs in your company you are the marketing person, you are the manufacturer, you are the idea person, you are the product developer, you know, you're running all of these different um, parts of a business that generally would be outsourced. So you kind of have to be a jack of all trades. If you're somebody that wants to spend time developing one idea and just working on that one idea until it's perfect, you may be better off being an employee or maybe working on that on the side while you work a regular job until you're ready to go public with that idea or maybe just sell the idea to a company that can, you know, market it and advertise it and produce it and manufacture it and all that stuff. So you know, so kind of look at your personality trait and see what works best for you. I am a jack of all trades. I like to do a little marketing. I like to do a little this, do a little that. I like to work on one idea, then jump to the next. I was always told as an artist, you should work in a series and you should paint like, you know, 25 versions of the same thing to really develop you. And I would be bored out of my gourd. I couldn't take that. But if you're an entrepreneur and you get to the point where you are running a big business and you can't do everything, you can look at that person that can do 25 paintings of one seashell or they can develop something and perfect it and make it just the best it can be. And you hire that person to run that part of your business. So everybody is valuable. Everybody's personality type is valuable and everybody's um, ideas are valuable. So you have to look at yourself and see, do I want to be an entrepreneur? Do I want to be, do I want to wear all these hats and be jumping from thing to thing to thing? You may say, yes, that's me. I love it. You may say, no, I want to work on this one thing that I'm passionate about and develop it as best as I can. And then maybe hire somebody to market it, hire somebody to do this, hire somebody to do that and hire somebody to manufacture it and outsource the rest. So see what kind of person you are and build your business around that. You'll feel much more in control. You'll feel um, like you're going with the flow a lot better. And I think you'll be um, a much more successful business person for it. So um, that's my little art marketing tip for the day. I hope you found it useful. And um, if you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Uh, you guys are all valuable, awesome, and talented. And I believe the rising tide lifts all boats. We help one another. It helps oursel ourself, ourselves. <laughs> And, uh, and it helps the art community grow even stronger and become more valued by, um, by everybody else in society too. So thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, happy crafting.